Hello, my dear friends. Uh, I hope you can hear me. I hope you can see me. Uh, welcome to one more uh, Secrets of Success with Sylvia. Today I have a guest, as you know, uh, my dear friend uh, and mentor, Kevin E. Franz. He is a business uh, mentor, a highly successful international speaker. And um, I decided today to ask some new questions to help you to boost your business and to go on the, uh, on the next level. So let's see. Uh, if I hope he will join us every moment. So whoever is here, welcome to come and say hi. You know, it's really nice. Oh, hi, Kevin. How are you? I'm good, Kevin. How are you? I am awesome. Thank you. Oh, it's nice to see you. It's nice to see you. I will. I always ask you this because I'm curious. I know you travel all over the world. Where are you uh, calling from now today? Uh, I am in Dallas. So it's good to be back okay. in Dallas. Okay, but yeah. you did had a, a lot of traveling lately. Is that right? Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so lots of traveling lately. And, uh, but I just got off of uh, about four days of some personal family time. And so I'm um, a little refreshed and uh, ready to go at it. Yeah, I was over in your part of the world. I was over in, uh, over in uh, where was I at? London and um, Amsterdam and uh, Germany. Mm -hmm. So, yes, good to be. Yes, to a be lot of businesses. And, uh, I told, yeah, I told you a third time is a charm. I'm getting used to this whole Facebook live thing. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing just fine thank you kevin yeah so so you the reason why you're traveling so much for the uh, maybe people who are watching this first time okay then you are helping entrepreneurs to go to the next level to be the best version of themselves but also you help companies to grow their uh their businesses so you know i was wondering today there's a lot of confusion between uh, uh, mentoring and consulting. Could you maybe explain the difference between mentoring and consulting? Yeah, sure, absolutely. I mean, there, there, there is, uh, sometimes it can be a very blurred line and what is mentoring, what is consulting, what is coaching? Uh, probably more coaching and mentoring kind of uh, mm -hmm. get more blurred than consulting and coaching. Um, mentors are usually... Uh, we'll start with the latter since you mentioned mentoring. Mentoring is usually a longer term relationship that you might have with someone that um, is helping you think through things. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. That is a typical role of a mentor. Um, a, a, a coach will help you with uh, shorter term strategies. They're usually somewhere between three and six months. Um, it can be, mm -hmm. it can be longer, of course, but, but, uh, uh, a mentor is someone that, Hey, you can, you can real, you know, you can, you can always say, this is who I want to, to use as my fallback reasoning board, if you will, who can understand my ideas, who can understand my, um, where I'm going with my company. But so, yeah, uh, it, it you know, it, it, those four words, consulting, coaching, um, mentoring, um, uh, and you know, our three words can also can can be very can be very uh, you know interchanged, and yet they they act really in totally different uh, environments. Some companies even even call mentoring coaching, uh, which is fine, but uh, mm -hmm. uh, usually a mentor lasts for longer periods of time. Mm -hmm. And tell me, tell me, Kevin, um, if, if I may ask you something like, like maybe private, um, who are the mentors that, that you admire in your life? Wow. So, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a lot of mentors I, you know, I admire. I admire Jack Welsh. Um, I in, uh, admire people like Mark Norcross, um, uh, mm -hmm. people uh, like uh, the, the Michael Dells of the world. Um, and so those, those are people that have really, um, uh, really built some grassroots organizations, if you will, started from virtually nothing and, uh, exploded into a, a tremendous enterprise. So, um, so yeah, I, you know, I, you know, I, I have some personal mentors here in Dallas as well. Um, Richard, who, uh, is the one that said, Hey, Kevin, you know, you build companies all over the world. 
Uh, why don't you, you know, start your own consulting firm? Uh, so mm-hmm. it, people, people play different roles and we can have multiple mem- mentors, you know, mentors that make us better Christians, mentors that make us better uh, business people, mentors that uh, help us with processes. Um, so uh, I, I would tell anybody that's watching just not to get one mentor because, um, you know, everybody acts in a specific role. And oftentimes mm-hmm. those roles are obviously what their strengths are. So. Yes. And that is, that is so important. And Kevin, before we, you know, before we finish, I'm just curious about one thing. Uh, when we start and, and, you know, I, I can speak for myself. When I started, I did so many mistakes and being stubborn. And then when I got, uh, you know, when I got mentors and coaches and, um, I, 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 I noticed that it's really changing me, that it's, uh, even though it's business, it's actually work on ego. It's a, it's a inner work. What do you think about that? What is your opinion? Yeah, well, I mean, you know, having a, uh, a coach uh, and a, or a consultant is, is really critical because yeah, I, I use this saying, and we've all heard this saying, you know, we can't think outside the box because we're in the box. But I use another saying that's, you know, we can't see the picture because we're the picture frame. And uh, and so I think it's really, really healthy uh, for all of us to get a different perspective. And mm-hmm. so I, you know, my wife, Deborah, gives me all kinds of different perspectives of things that I didn't think about or should have thought about. Uh, so I think we need to surround ourselves. It's, it's you know, I talk about um, penetrating circles of influence and, and doing that in such a way that, that, uh, we can bring value to those people, uh, in those lives. And, and they bring obviously value to ours. Um, but I think coaching is extremely important. I think that, uh, um, you know, there is a, and to my opinion, uh, you know, I'm a consultant as well, but I mean, there's a big difference on my mm-hmm. role as a consultant versus a, a business coach. Um, usually a consultant is brought in for very specific projects to, or, you know, for a specific outcome or out they're outsourced, um, to do a, a project based, um, engagement, a coach is there a lot of times, well, certainly there to hold you accountable, but is there to, uh, provide inspiration, to provide you hope, to provide you direction, mm-hmm. uh, to share mistakes, um, that they have made. So you don't make the step, you know, so you can kind of shortcut your way yes. to success, if you will. Um, but you know, there, there, there is a, there is a difference. And so, uh, of how, how people coach people versus how people consult with people. And so there's, there's two mm-hmm. pretty different radically worlds. And then the mm-hmm. whole mentoring thing that we just spoke about. So, so, yes. So, yes. So it's, it's, it's a big, uh, t- I work. Yes. I wear a lot of hats. <laughs> yes. Um, the one thing that it's maybe I will just, you know, before we finish, Kevin, I would just like to, to mention is that, um, of course, you know that, and I know that, but for our audience, I see Orsi is here. Katie is here. Uh, Matt is here. Thank you everybody for, for joining. So what I want to mention is whoever is a coach, whoever is a mentor or consult, that um, it's really important that we still have mentors and coaches uh, because, the, the, Kevin, please, you know, I would love to hear if you have so much time to share this. One of the biggest mistakes that we coaches and mentors and consultants do, we stop having other mentors and coaches and investment in um, investing in our personal development because there's a level of success. What do you think about that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, I I don't think we can, we should ever stop learning and you surround Mm -hmm. yourself and you become those that you surround yourself with. And so you surround yourself with people that are of high success and, um, and success can be measured in a lot of different ways. It's not financially, but, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, we always need to be learning. I mean, I have coaches in my life. I have mentors in my life. Um, I have key influencers in my life. Um, certainly I have a lot of consultants in my life, but, uh, <laughs> uh, but they're, 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 but, but at the end, at the end of the day, we, we need to, we need, we, you know, it, when we stop, growing internally and we stop 
feeding our mind and what we feed our mind is what we ultimately become. And uh, so, you know, we, we, we need to gather, in my opinion, we need to gather information from a lot of different sources. We need to have trusted allies around us. We need to have trusted uh, sources of that, that we can talk to and listen to um, and run back by ideas. I mean, I've run back by ideas uh, through some of uh, my uh, mentors and, and business advisors. And they look at me like, you're crazy or why would you do that? And I think, <laughs> well, I think this is a great idea. And they said, well, we've already done this. We, we did this six years ago or 20 years ago, and it, it was a total disaster. Um, so, you know, you need that feedback and you want that, that honesty. Yes. And, and, and what I would tell you is you don't want to have, um, and it's, it's, this is a hard thing to do because we develop relationships with our clients and, and not that my clients aren't friends, but I cannot act in a friend capacity. Uh, I might be their friend, but I can't act in a friend capacity because I'm not going to tell you, Sylvia, just what you want to hear because that's mm -hmm. not why you came to me to ask me a question or whatever. Um, you came to me as an example to get best practice and, you know, what, what about, what is my key learnings? And so I think we can, you know, that would be one thing I would tell anybody listening is that you, you don't want somebody that's just going to tell you what you want to hear. You want to have somebody that's going to be brutally honest with you. And it may happen to be what you want to hear, but probably not other more oftentimes than yes. not, it'll be something radically different. So. Yeah. Yes, and that is so important. But, Kevin, thank you. Thank you for your perspective and for all this knowledge that you shared today um, with us. I just want to use this opportunity to thank you for being one of the, uh, the mentors in my life that I truly admire. Um, your knowledge, your, your persistence, your success. Thank you so much. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to have one more Secrets of Success to help with you, other entrepreneurs, businesses, individuals to go to that next level to be their full potential. Thank you. Yeah, no, thank you. No, you're more than welcome. I enjoy doing this and, and, and hopefully trying to bring some value to those that are listening. And, and um, it's surround yourself with people that you want to become, not necessarily physically be, become, but... You, you want to aspire to a certain uh, level of, of, of significance, if you will. And, uh, and that means different things to different people. But, you know, constantly keep mind feeding. I mean, I mind feed constantly. I read constantly. I, uh, yes. I, I listen to people, multiple people's advices. And, uh, um, and then, you know, I, I, I make uh, educated choices based on the education that all these different avenues and people are feeding me so um never stop growing never stop learning so yes yes and that's amazing kevin thank you one more time i wish you good staying in dallas and um uh, hopefully we're gonna thank see you. each other um physically soon thank you one more time my friend you're welcome it's a pleasure to be here and uh, and, and and be well and uh, let me know how i can help you Thank you, everybody. Yes. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you, dear audience, for bye -bye. listening to us. Thank you, Ellen. Thank you, Payo, Greg. Thank you, all guys, for joining. Thank you. Thank you. Bye now.